Hi, Taurus. This is um, both love in general, as I said in the introduction. And in honor of your birthday, I'm going to pull a card from the Animal Tarot Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. So let's see what comes up. You know, one of the things that I'm getting for you is release. The word release. Let go of things that aren't serving you. I'm getting, you know, uh, possibly toxic people in your life, toxic behavior actions, but, um, and I'm getting recovery too. Um, these, two of these cards are popping out. So let's see what these are. Oh my gosh, the lovers. The flamingo, true and long-lasting love, finds its way into your life. Follow your heart with caring actions and choices. Isn't that beautiful? And look at with the butterfly. I, I the butterfly to me represents transformation. So I, I still get release, let go. Um. I also get very like cleansing and tranquil or tranquility, possibly meditation may be helpful. Let's see what this other card is. The four of autumn, the squirrel, be cautious about living a life of extremes or seeing things in black and white terms. So maybe this is where I don't know if I had said recovery, but I, with the toxicity, consider, for example, whether you are spending too much versus hoarding your wealth or giving too much emotionally versus building walls that keep people out. Wow. So I think for some of you, you know, it's that you may even be blocking love from coming in possibly from the past i don't mean from the past well it could be from the past since i said that a past person but also due to past history because it's reminding me of the four of pentacles like you know where he's like tightly holding on to things that's what the squirrels were reminding me so you know, it's it's finding that balance. And maybe that's why I got the word recovery. Um, because it's finding that gray area, not just all black and white. What's interesting, too, is we have the 6 plus 4, which is a 10. And the 10 is the end of a cycle. So I feel like as something is ending, something new is coming in. Now, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus... Oh, it's not even in the camera. Look at all this purple. <laughs> oh, and the green, the malachite. Look at that. I'll put that over here. Um, but six plus four is ten. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Obviously, that is you. So, but Capricorn and Virgo may be of significance. Also, Gemini may be of significance for some of you. But the lover's card also for me. I feel like some of you may even be traveling. I'm getting like where there's water or the ocean. Um, this may even be, well, like in the U.S., it could be Florida. I don't know why I'm getting Florida, but I am. Okay, let's see. I also have, in case we need clarification, um, this is, I love this deck that, it, well, no wonder, I mean, you know, with Nicholas, I mean, I've got cats galore, but I have the tarot of white cats just in case I want to clarify anything here. So let me just shuffle a little bit more for Taurus. And I just heard Nicholas running. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop there. I'm not even going to cut it because that card bent. 
the seven of pentacles. So it's definitely, look, we've got more pentacles here. Um, this is kind of watching and waiting, like you've put some work into something. And look, I'm focused on this gray area. But if you look at it, there are kind of extremes here. Um, we've got something that you've got a lot of and then something that there's just a little bit of. Now, it may be that money, um, let me angle this down. Money matters may be of importance in May. Um, the other thing is also where do you want to invest your time and energy? Is it possibly in love? You know, you may be protecting yourself again from love. For some of you, it can be a decision in love. It may be that new love is coming in. And, and maybe some of you have been with somebody for a while. Um, it could also be that you're taking a break from love or from a situation. The pentacles can definitely, it's like you've been working hard at something and you're waiting for the results to come in. So it could even be money. It could be something that you've been toiling at, working at. Um, could be work related. It could also be that you're deciding like what direction do you want to go in? Um, the lovers is obviously, um, also a big decision. So I feel like some of you may have a big decision to make in May, but it's, it's definitely, um, I'm getting something about, Protection, protecting oneself. Um, it's where you want to put your energy. And, but I, I do get, look, there's a lot going on here and there's the, the beginning of something new. So this kind of goes back to the squirrel in the extremes of seeing things. And maybe seeing things from both perspectives or both sides, um, especially if you're coupled up or if you're partnered up in business. Some of you, it's a new pathway in terms of maybe school or, or work. Do you want to stay on the path that you're on? The moon. And it's also in the challenge position. I'm also getting um, possibly something about even moonlighting, but this represents for me Cancer and Pisces. And so I think it's, it's really important that you pay attention to your intuition, you pay attention to your dreams, that you don't allow fear to get in the way. That fear may be holding you back, just like this says. Like love may be trying to come in, but you're protecting or confiscating or hanging on to things that maybe um, if you, uh, uh, like I said, release. There's something that I feel needs to get, you need to let go of or eradicate or release. Yeah. And now we have the hanged man here. And I think that somebody is possibly hanging on to something that is not serving them, or there could also be a delay in making a decision or a delay. It's interesting because I got delays uh, definitely for Scorpio. So things are uh, like you're possibly restricting yourself from a situation, I want to see what's underneath. Now, this can also definitely represent Pisces. So there's a lot of water here. Oh, my gosh. Well, speaking of water, I think that some of you um, are, you know, stifling emotions. Now, this may not be you. This could be that you are ready for love. But there's somebody around you, like, 
this is like the four of pentacles where they're just so protective they won't let anybody in and you're trying to let yourself in now it could be the other way around where somebody is wanting to come in to your life and you're not allowing them in now this not allowing somebody in may be for a good reason is what I'm hearing. Because I feel like there's something about some kind of addiction. And maybe that's why the squirrel is here about extremes. Because um, I'm getting somebody that may have issues with either their emotions and anxieties or fears or things that are deeply rooted, even in the subconscious. And so pay attention to the, to your dreams, but to the point that maybe they're dealing with things through recreational usages, or maybe it could even be like drinking too much or, I don't know, I'm getting some type of addiction, whether it's gambling or I don't know why this is coming up, but this is. Uh, I'm being led to pull one more card. Yeah. this is, There's a process of healing going on here. So for some of you, it's finding that, look, we've got a lot of gray here. It's finding that... that me, middle of the road, not the, you know, just like it said here, black and white terms. You're seeing things in black and white terms. The hanged man, it's important to go within and see things from different perspectives. And here it could be, I mean, when it's in the upright, I feel like somebody is looking at things from different perspectives. Um, here it's it's almost like there's fear of change or not willing to look at things. So you could be dealing with somebody with the strength card. They could be a, a fire sign. Um, but we do have the water here. So I feel like it can be somebody that's just... You know, I don't like the strength card, honestly, uh, for me in, in reverse. I feel like somebody may be a bit manipulative, and I'm getting it's the opposite. There's a need to let go um, of things. There's things that of not that's not serving you or that's not serving them or both. There's a need to release. Release, release, release. That's what I'm getting. So these are just some messages that are coming through for you, Taurus. Um, remember, I you have the strength, though, to get through what the, whatever this is. And it says here, true and long-lasting love finds its way into your life. Follow your heart with caring actions and choices. So follow your heart in order to get through this. It may be that you're the one that needs to protect yourself from this type of energy because you've been trying to make something work, whether it's a job that you um, have been trying to enjoy and love and it's just not working. Um, you may be looking for a job elsewhere, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a person or a situation that you just can no longer be a part of. You've got to focus on the love for yourself first, and that's what's going to be important, finding harmony. But the six represents solving problems, you know, um, and balance for me. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.